It is time to do a task that I have been dreading and putting off for so long. No only fans coming. I feel like right now I'm just like out of place. I'm in a weird lull period. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. Hi guys and welcome to my first work week in my life as a normal human. Someone who doesn't wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and go on TV at 5 a.m. And technically, I guess what I'm doing right now isn't normal. I don't even know, but all I know is that it felt so freaking good to sleep in today. And I am going to be like having a routine and kind of like, I need to like figure out my routine obviously because this is also new to me. So I still need to like figure out the routine aspect of it, what works, what doesn't. But this week and today I set my alarm for 7 a.m. I thought that's like just a good normal time to wake up, question mark. I didn't even sleep in until my alarm. I woke up at like 6.40. I was able to go to the gym. Pretty much that's all I've done so far, go to the gym, that's it. And now I am sitting here about to get ready. I actually can't really chat for too long because uh, Zach's about to hop on his 9 a.m. meeting. But I just wanted to tell you guys, if you have never tried a micro, what, is, I don't even know what it is. Microdermabrasion. You have to because I got one last night on a Sunday. Normally on Sundays, they are like sacred to me because my Sundays are shorter than most. I obviously, you know, if you wake up at 2 a.m. on Monday, 6 p.m. on Sunday, it's like, well, I have to go to work in eight hours. So it's weird. So last night I took advantage of my very first relaxed Sunday, which felt so good. And I got a facial, but not just a regular facial. I got a microdermabrasion from Massage Envy. And like my skin just feels so like smooth like the texture i'm such a big skin texture person like just kind of perfecting that texture because i don't really break out but i'll get like my skin just won't be as smooth as i want it to it is just so satisfying guys ever since i started getting monthly facials like i just mm, i noticed such a difference welcome to my cute little office for the day i decided to come to the shared workspace at my apartment complex this is actually one of a couple of them because i was at a different one last week which is really cool it gives variety especially if you are working from home and oh my gosh wait okay ready guys i'm walking over here you see this is the pool oh and okay so across the way you can see that's kind of like the garage area that's where i was working out of last week but if i remember last time i came here heck yes they have free coffee darn it i really wish they had free tea though coffee just does not agree with my stomach but honestly if it's free it is for me heck yes i discovered they have one green tea one so i'm super hyped about that okay ready tea this is so high tech guys regular boom that is so cool right now at this particular moment i feel like i have a million and one things i have to do just because you know with the whole retirement from tv news it was all fun and games until i have like just a lot of stuff suddenly on my plate and by the way this is the planner i got from target which i am in love with i just love how colorful it is like i am not the type of person who's like oh i like all neutrals just like whites and blacks i don't even know what neutrals are no i'm a fan of roy g biv give me all the colors so i actually started jotting down things over the weekend that i need to get done but i want to write them down on my agenda just because crossing them off is the most satisfying thing ever. And I'll kind of just give you guys the rundown. So number one, this is, oh, this is the most annoying one. I need to somehow transfer my 401k to an IRA or some sort of retirement fund, but I'm very not advanced at that. And Zach actually has a friend who is, so we might try to contact him and see if he can help us in any way. Number two, this is random, but my bike is broken. I need to get that one fixed. Three, and this is a big one, channel manager. I'm considering getting a manager for my YouTube channel, just like signing with a YouTube management company, just because I am not good at the business side of things. I'm just not. I'm not one of those people who went to business school. I was a communications major, and it just would be so helpful to have someone with me on that aspect of things. I've been looking at a few of them like kind of just like looking up what other creators use and it's just it's like hard it's hard to know if you like them before you sign I don't know so like I have on my phone a list of like eight nine ten I'm gonna reach out to and then see who reaches back out because obviously not all of them will for oh I actually this one's exciting I finished a book and if you guys know I do Instagram book reviews on my stories so be sure to follow me on there and I just finished the book reckless girls you can go to my Instagram to get the full review it's gonna be up by now it's not it's not not a great book five I might need to get new running shoes I've been dealing with the worst 
pain ever in my hamstrings, my shins, my ankles, and I think I just need to get fitted. So I wanna to go to this place here in Sensi called Fleet Feet and maybe they can fit me. Six, I actually need to book my bridal appointments because oh my gosh, I haven't even told you guys, my mom, it's coming into town in less than two weeks and actually my dad is coming too so she's coming for like i don't know maybe like seven days and he'll come for like two or three my mom's obviously going to be coming dress shopping with me so i need to book the bridal appointments and then okay this is not something that is work but guys there are these local boutiques that i pass by all the time and i never visit because i just feel like when you go into a little boutique like i always feel like i have to buy something because you're like with the one shop manager like it's just you and her and so i just never go in but there are three of them that i really really want to visit so that's obviously not like work but it's just something i really want to do and anyway okay i'm gonna keep the list like to this because i don't want to get too overwhelmed but i'm gonna start right now with reaching out to managers oh and then the biggest one this is something i can't do here though i'm going to be selling my old clothes my old reporter clothes on Poshmark. So that's gonna be super exciting, but that's gonna be an after lunch activity because I have to do it at my apartment. expedition was a major success. I got my bike repaired for free. He didn't charge me. I don't know why. He's just a kind human being and that was amazing. And then, okay, wait, I love how this is so anticlimactic. It's like the bag doesn't like say anything. It's just a random brown bag, but I ended up going to one of the shops I wanted to go to. We have three on the list, three, but I went to one of them because it just started downpouring and I had my umbrella and my wallet and I didn't have a purse and it just was like a wreck. So only went to one of them. This is called Threads Boutique in Cincinnati. So cute. The women who worked there were so nice and that just like overall makes the whole shopping experience so much better. And I tried on a few things, which the first one was a major disappointment. This is seriously the reason I even went to Threads Boutique because I saw this dress that they always have on display outside such a cute color such a cute like style but the major thing is it just does not fit me in the chest area like if the chest area was tighter boom we'd be in business but it just does not fit and I was thinking like oh I, I, I want to make it work it's gonna be fine but like no 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 it, it, it's gonna like I'm not gonna want to expose everyone every second so didn't get that but I then tried on a maxi dress, which I've been wanting a long maxi dress for summer so badly just because they're so comfy but so cute and you could put like a denim jacket over them and I just love that style and I loved it. It's a really pretty yellow color and then they have a deal where you could get like two for a little bit less and so I got one in black as well, which the same exact style, just, you know, a more neutral color, I guess. So love those. And then I tried on this shirt, which first of all, like this color, like this is just me. I'm obsessed with this color pink and it's just so classy i can't even like describe it it's like just has the most interesting sleeves where like they're kind of there but kind of not and it's cinched at the bottom a little bit it's a little bit high-waisted like you need to wear like something a little high-waisted with it and i'm just obsessed with this shirt like just the classy look i feel like that's what i want my wardrobe to be just like kind of like the classy type of style, I don't know. And then I throw on a few low cut tops and then I'm such a hypocrite when I say I wanna be classy, but for the most part. And like, okay, the one thing that's weird is that I'm talking about like going shopping and all of this when I'm gonna be traveling and I do want to like purge so much of my wardrobe. But the thing is like, I wanna purge my wardrobe, not just for traveling, but I want new staples. Like a lot of my clothes are just so old. I'm sick of them, they don't fit right, like they're just not my style anymore, and so I wanna purge and then just put in like new staples. This one isn't as much of a staple, but like the maxis, for example, like those are just so classic, can be worn in so many different ways, and I just wanna get more expensive pieces. I know that sounds like it's the opposite of who I am, I'm the most frugal person ever, but I really do believe in spending a little bit more on staples instead of just doing a million pieces of clothing that are also cheap and like just not good material. So I'm just, I'm so happy. And now I really wanna go to the other two places. For today's lunch, I am just doing some chicken that I did in the air fryer with mixed vegetables. This is just broccoli, cauliflower, carrots with olive oil and sea salt. And I'll probably snack on some fruit of some kind, like watermelon, grapes, something like that. Starting to feel that after lunch slump, but luckily I have my coworker here to 
Help me out. Take your slumping butt elsewhere. No, we're coworkers. Oh. So I have to deal with your slumping butt? Yeah, you gotta deal with it. And actually, we have a little update. If you guys watched the last vlog, Zach was not doing well. I've never seen you this sick. Yeah, no, I just didn't feel good at all. It was, for... but it was sick. Like, describe it. It was like a mystery illness. Like, yeah, I mean, I was just overly sore from a workout and then I was overly exhausted and my back, lower back started hurting and like my insides didn't feel good. So yeah, it was just like a- Yeah, you're mess. talking about like his organs. I was like so scared. He was sleeping <laughs> I mean, my... 10, 11, 12 hours a night, then napping during the day for hours. Like it was a weird weekend, but his blood results came back. My yeah. kidney results came back fine. Which is good. But then I guess this is like your total CK is I think your muscle enzyme in like your blood. I think it's supposed to obviously be in the green. 39 to 308, mine was 980. Like that's crazy, like that's not good. And that just goes to show, I guess, why he feels the way he does. Feel better. I'm probably at like 80% today. I'm not like perfect, but getting there. So probably just rest again today. and Hopefully be good to go by tomorrow. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. Awesome. Me. Now it is time for the part of my day that I have been dreading the most and I've been putting this off, but the time has come and this is something you guys are gonna be really excited about, I hope. Selling my reporter wardrobe. So obviously I've accumulated quite a bit over the past five years, actually longer, because I started accumulating this when I was in college interning. And I'm not selling everything, but I'd say I'm selling like 90% of my wardrobe, which as I've mentioned, I don't know what my future career plans are and I could very well still need like these cute dresses and skirts and all of that for just a normal job, even if I'm not returning to reporting in the future. But these clothes, like I'm just, I'm sick of. I've worn them all like 50 times each, more than that, like way more than that. I've worn them so many times. And not only that, like I've worn them very publicly on air. So even if I were to return to the workforce in like a year or even less than that, I'd just buy new clothes. And in the meantime, what's the point in having all of these clothes just sit in storage? Why not have other people like them as well? So I'm trying to do this right. I previously, this took me so many hours, took photos of all of the clothes. Like I use like a little thumbtack and oh, there's, there's the soundtrack of my life. Just a normal shave at 3 p.m. God. <laughs> to my life you blab just talking to yourself. <laughs> that is your new favorite word blabbling that's not even a word Zach. Just talking to herself is the soundtrack to my life i'm not talking to myself i have a whole community she's going crazy nope i'm talking to a community zach well no she uh, that's what i'm saying you'll talk to yourself even without the camera you just walk around talking no to i don't that's a total lie they're gonna think you're serious <laughs> I, I don't am. You think I, it's are you, scary. are you kidding? So, I think you think you have a camera on you and you just- Shut up, I do not, you're kidding. I really wasn't sure if you were serious for a second, She's but- losing it. No, I'm not, I'm normal. But I actually will start to lose it when I have to do all this Poshmark stuff. I really think it's useful if I can show you guys what the clothes look like when I'm wearing them. And what's even better than just like posing in front of like a white wall, if I can, I'm trying to find photos of all of the clothes of me wearing them in action. Like whether it's on the news or just in a behind the scenes photo, like showing you what it looks like on. So I need to go through all of those. Then I need to go through sizing because I don't just wear the same size. Like they range from various sizing. And I also need to see like, can I sell this piece of clothing? Because there are quite a few pieces of clothing that are so cute that I know you guys would love, but I can't sell because they have makeup stains on them. Like I'll show you, for example, one that I know that you guys would seriously, I don't know. I've gotten a lot of comments on it when I've worn it in the past. This, so freaking cute. It's by DKNY, but I could never sell it because do you guys see? It has like an orange, yeah, makeup stain. That sucks, but you know what? Don't worry, there's plenty of others and I promise I'm gonna be doing quality control to make sure I'm only selling the best.
yesterday on listing my Poshmark clothes, I am just keeping it at like 22 pieces of clothing for the first launch. I realized I'm just gonna do a few launches because guys, that ended up being like the most overwhelming task ever. I know that's so pathetic to say, but it was just so tedious because I took all those photos previously, like weeks ago, but I didn't realize that Poshmark crops it in such a way that all of the photos I took were useless. So that was just really exciting to learn. And I did that for a couple of hours yesterday and then I was just like, we're done. We're done here for now. I'm gonna be listing 22. It's gonna be like a few launches and I'm gonna have it linked down below because by the time you're watching this, I'm gonna have it live. Right now, I am just finishing getting ready and it feels so, wait, why do I try talking when I'm doing my lipstick? This is just stupid, but it feels so weird because technically, what am I getting ready for? I'm not meeting anyone today. I'm not seeing anyone today, except obviously Zach. So it's like, what? But I think even when you're working from home, getting ready, it just sets your whole day up for success. Like just being a member of society. Like I don't wanna just be, you know, hair in a bond, no makeup. And that's fine, it's fine for some days. But like I just wanna be like ready, I don't know. It's like, I did a news story on it actually one time uh, when the pandemic first hit on like tips for working from home. One of the tips was just, getting ready and listen, you're not gonna see me in like a bowl gown every day. Like I'm not wearing dresses every day, but I'm a fan of like the glam on top, comfort on bottom look. Cause obviously I have my robe on right now cause it's just comfy, but I plan on wearing these sweats today because that's just, that's the move. And ultimately right now I'm just like adjusting to whatever this new life is. Like it's just, it's weird. There's like no playbook for it, right? Like there's no like, guide telling me what to do. Obviously I work for myself now, which is fantastic, but I'm just so used to, you know, one of my managers calling me, a producer saying, you have to go here, you have to do this, you have to interview this person. Like, it's just weird that it's like on me now. And it's just weird, but I overall, guys, I have been so happy. I just feel free. I feel lighter. Like I have not turned on, okay, that's a lie. I did turn on the news once because I wanted to see the lead story at four but I ended up turning it off because it's just, it doesn't interest me. Like a lot of the stories, for example, like I was scrolling on Twitter today and I'm not knocking anyone. Like I don't want to come across like I'm sounding mean, but I saw like, oh wow, two of the reporters today were covering gas prices and how they're increasing. And that I'd be right there with them. Like that's totally fine, but it just gets so old because one of the reasons I wanted to be a reporter was you do something new every day. How cool is that? But what I found is that it all is kind of like a cycle. Sure, I do new stories every day, but there are so many things where it's like, all right, we're back here again, this annual event I'm covering for the fourth time, or it's just another shooting, slightly different story, another fire, different house. Like, it all felt like Groundhog's Day, kind of. I don't know, I, I, I that, that's just something that behind the scenes I never really vocalized to you guys, but kind of bothered me, not bothered me, but just was something like, I'm just like, I don't know, I just like will always remember. Ready, I always remember this. The first time I went to Great American Ballpark for Red's opening day, the excitement that I felt to be at Great American Ballpark, like you could just hear it in my voice. Good morning, Elise. I'm sorry, I just, one sec, I need a second. I am at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Can you just take a look at this thing? I mean, let me step out of the way. No one wants to look at me when we have this beautiful picture. And then when I went back the next year, I was still excited, but just not as excited. Elise, right now I am at Great American Ballpark. I know you just said it, but I have to taste it coming out of my own mouth. Year three, year four, like each and every year the excitement dwindled. And now like, I mean, I've gone to Great American Ballpark, like behind the scenes, like in the dugout and on the field and all so many times that it just loses its luster. It just does. I do have to say I had my first work nightmare last night since leaving where I was on a story and I was covering some sort of band that was doing something like, I don't know, performing. And I just could not remember the name of the band. I remember specifically in the nightmare, I was like, all time low, it's not all time low, it's not all time low, like I was on air. And I was like, I don't know the name of the band like that I'm you know, doing a whole story on. So first work nightmare in the books. And guys, today is a very exciting day. I'll actually, I'm gonna show you why. Today is very special, boom. Look at this guys, I am starting a new birth control pack and this is very exciting because can you see right here these four pills? Well, when I am on these four pills, that means I'm on my period. It's just like the way it works with this birth control. What? <laughs> People need to know about your PC. Yes, they need to know because- Clients, you're flashing the world. I'm not flashing anyone, I'm not. <laughs> Jeez, this is getting risky now that she doesn't have- 
Zach, you Who just knows? Zach, you just did the only fans coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get that in money in July. <laughs> okay, but you just did my biggest pet peeve. You know it's not pronounced risky. You can say risky business, risque, whatever. It's risque. <laughs> if that's your biggest pet peeve, then you're pretty lame. Hello. Future editor Clancy here, and I realized I never explained to you guys why I hate when people say risky instead of risque, because there's a story behind this. And it all goes back to my very first YouTube channel when I was like 12 years old. No, you can't look it up. It's called, or was called, Hey, I am Helga. I ended up deleting it because I was embarrassed, but I was pretending to be a girl named Helga from the UK. I got a British accent who was tone deaf and like would sing awful songs like I was a pop star wannabe and part of the shtick was that I was super like confident I was like oh, I know I'm so good guys so, it was so weird so weird but I uh, as you can imagine didn't have too much of a fan base no I did not not at all and so finally one day I got a comment from someone a man who said love the content but would you be able to do things that are more risque well being a 12 year old, 11 or 10, I have no idea, 11, 12, 10, one of those. I thought he meant, would you be able to do something more risky? Okay, I thought he just spelled the word fancy. And obviously risky and risque are two different things. Risque is like sexually suggestive. So I respond back and I'm like, oh, thank you so much. Like sure thing, what do you want me to do that's risky? And I'm like, what does he want? Like, does he want me to like jump off something that's high or like, be a little more crazy. I was so confused. Little did I know my mom knew about my YouTube channel. I had no idea she knew. I didn't ask for permission to do that YouTube channel or any of the others I created because there are others out there. And she saw that comment and was just like, you're shutting this down. Like, this is not, this is not okay. Not okay. And she explained to me what the word risque meant. And I was embarrassed. No, we didn't invite you. I'm telling them about my tragic past few days. The Red River. <laughs> it really has been. So on my last birth control, I did not get a period. It just didn't. And it's common. My gyno always told me every single time. I was like, um, I'm not getting a period. She was always like, that's normal on low, low estrogen fay, it's called. Had to switch birth controls because of health insurance reasons. And this one, I actually do get a period, which I'm so happy about because even though it's annoying, at least I feel like a normal human being. But these past four days, to be precise, have been brutal. Like, I feel like I, my body's like making up for all of the lost time. And it's just been like, it's just been bad, bad news, guys. So very excited that I'm starting a new pack, which means pretty sure the period will subside. Anyway, so glad Zach can join this conversation. Enjoy, YouTube. Right now, it is time to do a task that I have been dreading and putting off for so long, and that is buying jeans. I know you're probably thinking like, what? Like, why, why is that such a big deal? Oh guys, there are a few reasons. So first of all, I don't really like shopping. I don't really find it that enjoyable. I, trying on clothes is just like annoying to me. I don't know, I'm like not a big shopper. But two, I have to bite the bullet and buy a size of jeans that I probably don't like. And what I mean by that is bigger, like a bigger size because I have been squeezing into the jeans I own where I'm like, is the button gonna pop off? Like clearly I've gained a little bit of weight, which is fine, everyone fluctuates in life, but I feel like I've been putting it off cause I'm like, oh, I'll just lose that weight and then it'll all be fine. Like I don't wanna waste money on a whole new pair of jeans for a size that I'm just not even gonna be, but I've been saying that for like over a year. Over a year, I'm sure you guys can relate and at the end of the day, it's like, who the heck cares what the number is, right? Like it doesn't make a difference. You're not walking around and have, you don't have like the tag on the outside. There's a reason the tag's on the inside. No one cares if you wear a zero or a 14, a 16, an 18, whatever size it might be. And so I just like need to bite the bullet because I have not been wearing normal people clothes. I mean like look, on a day like today, I'm not gonna wear jeans anyway. I don't really find them that comfortable to begin with. So when I'm just bopping around, like I'm not planning on wearing jeans, but even when I'm going out with friends, I'm like, I don't want to wear these jeans. Do they technically fit? Like, can I button them? Yes, but are they comfortable? No, and so I don't wear them. And clearly, they're just not my size. And life is too short to be wearing uncomfy jeans that clearly don't fit you. So finally, I'm going in. I think I'm gonna look at Nordstrom, see what they have. I don't know, I really don't know the game plan. I just bottom line need jeans that don't make me want to throw up when I am wearing them. That's the goal. Please tell me this is a joke. I'm inside Nordstrom and this is aged denim oh my gosh no no 198 dollars for a pair of shorts there's barely even any material i need to get out of here all right 
so basically I uh, blacked out and bought many things as you can see by my bags they even have bags and bags and I spent a lot of money feeling a little iffy about it but also I'm feeling great I mean we got we got the goods we'll discuss when I get home but first I whipped myself up a classic lunch of avocado toast this is Ezekiel bread grilled chicken and butternut squash and I committed a cardinal sin guys I went from hungry to hangry and you should never let yourself get hangry also this is random but my flowers are starting to die. Am I the only one who just like lets things sit out way longer than they should? Also, I think I need to start rotating my flowers because you can see like these ones look beautiful. The ones closest to the window and then these ones not looking so hot. Just for documentation's sake, we have clean glasses. I haven't got clean tea. Two new plastic cups, I don't know, six months ago. But here's the culprit. <laughs> insists on using this one you kind of see the cracks the cracks see the puddle kind of back there all so right, yeah I'm so up on aisle four because i was already about to start cleaning it up because i have to clean up her messes every day of my life oh shush but like guys the reason like there's no cup that i've gotten that's this just like the perfect shape and size all the other ones are big enough you see i sit here with a whole brita of water like i'm constantly refilling and if there's a cup that's smaller than this just imagine how many times i'll have to lift it up and refill this so. doesn't seem like a problem anyone cares about we should probably just use the cups that work well it is getting a little crazy so if anyone has any cup recommendations that are there's be huge like i'm telling you this one's huge none of the others are this big <laughs> I love it. Guys, our YouTube content is going downhill. <laughs> now that she's retired, we're asking for cup recommendations. Any of these. Uh, the people out there know what I mean. You need a special cup. We're in trouble. <laughs> All right, so as I mentioned, I went a little crazy at the mall, even though like I didn't buy that many things. It's just, I spent way more, way more than I'm used to. Like I'm used to buying discount everything and things that are on sale and nothing was on sale, nothing was discounted. These numbers were up there, but I did say I want to start buying better quality, more expensive things. Not a lot of them, but just better quality, like really good staples. And I don't know why I'm using my fists so much. Number one, this was unexpected. This is not the reason I came to the mall, but I didn't even realize, or maybe I did, I just have never seen it, I don't know. I have a Lily Pulitzer at my mall. Like that is, that is dangerous. I am obsessed with Lily Pulitzer. I could have walked out at the entire store, but it is so unbelievably expensive. It's like disgusting. And I only bought one thing, okay? I, I was good. But this top is just so freaking cute. It's like this tube top with all these cute little ruffles and just the thing that got me was the color. Like the color is so vibrant like with all Lily things and the design and I just thought it'd be perfect for summer with white pants, which that's my next purchase. I ended up getting white pants at Abercrombie and Fitch and I really, really like these. Like I just think they're the perfect lightweight summer pant cropped a little bit very just basic just high rise basic no rips or anything i ended up getting a size 28 for reference i think in the past i might have gotten like a 26 and it just felt so tight and i was always like Ugh. and there's a lot of room but honestly i would way rather that than just like feeling suffocated then at abercrombie and fitch i got another pair of jeans i'm so sad i didn't take a video of them when i was in the fitting room but i had to order them online because they didn't have my size but i'm gonna pop them right here they are so freaking cute like i was shocked at how much i love the way they look so We'll see how that fits when they come. Then I bought another pair of jeans. This is actually my first off, so I'm kind of doing this out of order. This is from Madewell, Obsessed. It's called the Perfect Vintage Straight Jean. I got a size 27. I I was between a 27 and a 26 in these. And by the way, it just goes to show like every store we have a different size. So isn't that funny? Um, I was between a 27 and 26. And then she told me to go with the smaller size because they stretch. And I was like, you know what? No, I want comfort. I want the 27. And I think they, per they fit perfect. Like I'm obsessed with these. And it just feels so good to wear jeans that actually fit, that actually like just feel like clothes, like like jeans, in my opinion, will never be like comfortable. I'm just not really that much of a jeans person. Like I'll wear them, but I'm not gonna like lounge in them, but they fit, they fit. It feels good. I'm so excited to like put together outfits again because I'm not kidding. I've just been like, I don't know what to wear. I've just been wearing sweats. It's fine, but like not to dinner. You guys saw, oh my gosh, it's actually in a vlog a couple of months ago when I wore sweats to the bar 
and that's just because I'm like I don't want to wear jeans they don't they hurt me so hopefully we'll do less sweats not like completely but less sweats and then the last thing that I got I ended up going to American Eagle for a pair of shorts this is called the mom short it is high-waisted actually okay it's super high-rise and I got this in a size four and I really like these I promise my channel is not just gonna turn into like a one big haul where I'm shopping every other day but I feel like right now ooh, I just kicked the camera I feel like right now I'm just like out of place where I'm in a weird lull period before we start traveling. And I'm loving this lull period, by the way. This isn't like a bad lull. This is like a, I need a break lull. Zach and I were considering starting our travels June 12th, June 12th. Isn't that like crazy to think about if that had happened? But I just would have had no break from news and it just would have been like one after the other. And there are so many logistics we still need to work out with this whole travel thing, which I'm gonna be taking you guys along for the whole journey and probably one of the next vlogs. I'll be just doing all that stuff, but it is, it's a lot. It's very exciting, but there's just a lot that goes into it behind the scenes. And then on top of that, I'm dealing with all of the wedding stuff, wedding planning. A lot of people have asked like, did you call off the wedding? But no, 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 no. We don't know if we'll still be traveling next summer for the wedding. Like this could be a destination wedding for us. We have no idea, but wedding is still on. And actually next vlog, we're gonna have more wedding planning content because I need to knock out a few things and the whole dress shopping and oh my gosh, just like a lot of exciting things are in store. It's stressful, but exciting. Do you know what the weirdest part about this whole new life that I'm living, this new era, I don't know what else to call it. It's that when I'm done with work, I'm actually done with work because when I was reporting, I'd finish my work day and then I'd open up my laptop and then I'd have to edit a video or film a video or like do different clips for that and upload and thumbnail. Like I had my work day and then I had my work day. But with this, it is five o'clock right now and I just finished rough cutting this vlog, finished doing like all the, the behind the scenes of this video and then the vlog you'll see before this. I still hadn't finished editing that. And I'm like done with work for the day. But I truly am done with work, like I don't even have editing to do. Or, technically I could continue editing this vlog, so I do like a rough cut, and then I go over it again, and that's when I add the text and the music and all of that, but I already have that scheduled that I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow, so like, I truly am done. Like, it's so weird. I don't know, and like, maybe I can like, take up a whole new hobby or something, or even like writing. That's something that really, uh, you know, I put on the back burner these past several years when I got really into YouTube because YouTube became my big hobby and I didn't have time to write. So like, I don't know, the possibilities are endless. This is just, this is weird. And like, it's just weird that I'm adapting to this like life now, but I'll only be living that for like a couple of months until we start traveling, so. I don't know, I'm just really happy. And I was Instagram storying today and a lot of you guys replied saying like, I just look so much happier in like my eyes and my face. And I'm like, man, I'm glad you guys can see it too because uh, it just, it feels really good. So anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here and I'm gonna start a new one tomorrow. I was planning on doing a whole work week in my life, but I figured I'll just separate them just to make sure I have two videos a week to upload for you guys. Like I don't wanna get, I wanna be ahead on my vlogs. I don't wanna get to like a, a place of like anxiousness like oh my gosh like a new video needs to go up today and it's not even edited so i'm just trying to be like super smart with my time for now and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i seriously love you guys so much and all of the support you've been giving me like it means the world <laughs>